Hello, it's Sarah. I got my jelly plate today. I ordered it from Amazon and I want to say it was 30 bucks. So those of you who want one, it came, mine came in two days because it was um, prime. But I know that uh, Poodles Paper Crafts, oh no, Stacy, I think her name is. She just made one herself. And I think it was a recipe that she saw the frugal crafter do. Um, so it's, you know, you can do it yourself, but I figured I'm just going to pay the 30 bucks and, um, I'm just looking to make sure I'm saying it right. Pink, pink poodle crafts. I'm sorry. Cause I think there is a poodle paper crafts too, but it's poodle paper crafts. And I'm pretty sure it's Stacy. Um, she made her own and it's huge and awesome. Um, so that being said, I bought mine. This is the 8x2. Uh, 8x2. I'm exhausted, you guys. Today's my son's birthday, and we had people over, and I'm, I'm exhausted. But I wanted to share. So I haven't had a chance to play, but I think I'll be playing tomorrow. Um, said I was going to do it, and I did. And to go along with my jelly plate, I've been looking for a bunch of different, or looking at and watching a bunch of different videos uh, about jelly printing, um, mono printing, I guess they call it. Um, someone who I find very inspiring in more ways than one is Patty Tully Parrish. Um, Inky Obsessions is her YouTube channel. I think it's actually Patty Tully Parrish is her YouTube channel, but she has a blog and everything. Um, she does a lot of like cy cyber casting or whatever it's called. What is it called? Webcasts? No, I can't think of what it's called. When you're on the computer and then you can interact with people who watch your videos. So they're actually when she posts them, they can be up to three hours long. But this is where I saw this. She's taken a lot of classes. She goes to um, mixed media conventions and I that's my dream I want to get there one day um, like cha or something I'm not sure if they're cha or not I'll have to look into it more because um, I've been to lots of painting conventions and they're so fun um, anywho she took a class with Julie Fafel Balzer and they were making little kind of this is foam fun foam and I bought the thicker sheets for the background to make my own stamps. This is actually going to be a stamp on the jelly plate. So you're going to put your paint on the jelly plate and then you can put this down and just kind of take some of the paint off and then when you do your pull, um, you know, some version of this design will be on there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, what else was I going to say? Anyway, Patty, thank you so much. Your, your channel is, I find it very inspirational. I think we have a similar, similar likes and dislikes. Um, cause I know you like the Lori Micah, you do a lot of the, um, claying. Um, but anyhow, this is actually all the black that you see on here is like a piece of foam that has adhesive backing on it. So you can cut it into any shape you want. And of course I was copying off of her a little bit. I did, well, the sun, but I did do some cutting with these scissors and I have tons of these and I can't find them. That's what happens when you switch craft rooms. I, I went searching everywhere tonight for these and a bunch of credit cards, like these gift cards. I used to work at Starbucks. And I would like just collect them. I didn't use them. I just liked them. And I always thought I would make a mosaic with them or something. Like I just liked them. So I, I have a bag full of them and I can't find them because I was going to do this. This is another thing you can do on your jelly plates. There are, and you can buy them, I think. They're um, like texture. What are they called? They're for making texture on things. But what I did was I just took these two scissors that I have. This is just a playing card. So it has that waxy finish on it and we'll see how this works, but I could cut it really easily. So I got that shape on here to do texture. So people do a lot of that on there. I have that. And then this was just another, and I did find a few expired credit cards or um, royalty cards because you don't use them very much anymore. Um, 
because now we have our the app you know you can just use the apps on your phone but I did it in a short version and a long version so I'll have that shape that shape and then I did the same thing with the other scissors that I have which is more like just a jagged line but I did that in a short version and a longer version um, I also did I, I think this is on the jelly plates website or the YouTube channel I'm sorry and I cut just an eraser or rubber eraser to do the same thing but like these are going to get built up with paint over time so it's best if you have something that's water you know we can wash it off so credit cards I think are going to be fantastic um, old credit cards or gift cards um, I found these too remember these the, the re reward um, things these just little ones that go on your um, key ring right so I cut a couple of these into just pointy because that way you have a smaller you know you don't always want it to be wide so you have a smaller one because they were actually using the little pencil erasers um, that are shaped like this too that come to a point they're like um, reddish and you would put them on top of your pencil um, but they're like you know half the size of that about the size of your finger and you can cut them and make them into a shape um, so I just did a couple of them, like in a one in a smaller version and one in a like a wider version. Um, what else? So yeah, so these were totally inspired by Patty, and I can't wait to try them out. Um, I'm just going to be using all kinds of paint. I'm going to use my tulip paints because I have metallics. I want to get the PBO paints but they're expensive and I'm gonna wait and see if I even use this a lot I'm hoping that I it is something I use um, but I have a lot of these scribbles paints I have some um, fluorescent ones I have some pretty colors I have so many different colors of paint so we'll see how that goes so I have one more of these that I was gonna do um, this one I made with just this big kids I used a coupon for it they actually didn't have a smaller set of these but this was just the geometric shapes so triangle squares circles well there's hearts like uh, teardrops and stuff so I just made some patterns with that I mean it's kind of crazy to look at now it's all gonna end up being you know painted like this is gonna get paint on it so it's not gonna be the colors but it was fun to make but they're all self-adhesive, so I didn't have to cut anything, and I just pulled the shapes. And again, I got this from Patty. Thank you so much, Patty, again. Um, and what else was I going to say? Oh, look at this. I found this was a dollar, and it's already made, so it has that thick backing. But I'm going to see if this is like kind of a stamp. You kind of put it on there and jiggle it on your jelly plate and see what happens. But I thought that could be a cool um something to play with that was a dollar um and i also just pulled like anything i could make texture with this i found these from these were from the dollar store i think they're like little rubberized things i don't know but i'm gonna pull my stencils and just play around um that's about it i found these too these were just in a, bo a box down there i can make circles with these on my uh, art journal. I figured I could use them. I found some spouncers, which are for stenciling. So yeah, so I will be back with some jelly plate stuff. Um, hoping, and again, all inspired by Patty Totally Parish Inky Obsessions. Um, I want to do some collage. I love her collage work. I love your stencils. I love your stamps. Um, you know, I probably will, um, get some eventually, but I'm just going to play and see what I come up with, uh, at first, but all right, you guys, that's it. I just wanted to share my jelly plate and thanks for watching.